to a new vlog. As I'm filming this today is Wednesday. It is... August 7 and if you're new here my name is Kim I'm a second year fourth grade teacher in West Michigan today is a really fun day because my best friend Melissa is gonna be here in like 10 ish minutes a little bit less than 10 minutes and we are going to a like flooring carpeting type store because they are giving out free remnants to teachers so we're gonna try to see if we can get rugs for our classroom now I don't know what it's gonna be like when we get there I don't know if there will be anything that we like I don't know if we'll be able to find anything but it's worth a try at least because both of us were wanting new rugs for our classroom and rugs are very expensive so we're going to do that and I have to film this little clip kind of quickly she's gonna be here very soon so I did want to show you I had a couple packages come in the last few days from Amazon. I received two packages of things from my Amazon wish list, and then I also ordered some items that came in too. So let me start with this note. It says, Hi Kim, I'm a California college student studying to become a high school history and psychology teacher. Your videos are so inspiring to me. I hope these items bring joy to you and your students in Michigan. From Elise. So she sent over some fraction towers. Yay, I'm so excited. I think this is my eighth set, I wanna say. So I'm really pumped about those. And then, this is really, really neat, you guys. I like just put this on my Amazon wish list. I saw it, it was like a recommended book in my like recommended to you section on Amazon. And it's super cool, it's called Win on Earth, History as You've Never Seen It Before. And it's like a bunch of cool like maps and just like a ton of information in here it's like a really nice hardcover book and this is just going to be such a cool book for kids to pull like during deer time and just like learn something new i when i was growing up was really interested in history and just all sorts of things so i would have loved that as a child so elise thank you so so much for that and then i also received a gift from addy and addy has donated to my classroom before and she sent over this book which how stinking cute is this this is actually a series of books and they do I am not a and then it'll be like cereal box or like whatever but this one is toilet paper roll I have a little maker space in my classroom that kids are able to use during indoor recess and I have a bunch of toilet paper rolls in there and so this book will be awesome because I can just put it right in that area and give the kids some ideas for some things that they could make with the toilet paper rolls the kids are so creative it's kind of amazing so Addie thank you so so much for that and then I also placed an order that just came in the first thing that I got is something for my stem bin so let me open this up it's in this like weird little drawstring bag <laughs> Okay, so I ordered these like snowflakes, I think they're called, and I'm going to add these to my stem bins that I just started making, which I don't think I've shown in a video yet. I don't think. I'll try to show that in this vlog at some point. But yeah, these will be perfect for my stem bin. I think these were like $15, so kind of pricey for like just a little bag, but... I really wanted them so I got them also I got this book this is one of the who is like what was series of books and this is who is R.L. Stein which is or was who is yeah he's still living he is the author of the Goosebumps books so my kids really like the Goosebumps books I have a bunch of them in my library so I thought that would be a fun addition and then the last thing I got I had to get I'm super excited about this this is like a little like voting ballot type thing or like something that you'd put like your information in when you're at a store I got this for my star tickets I'm so excited because this past year I just used like a recycled cup that kids would like go put their star tickets in if you didn't watch my behavior management video go watch that if you're wondering about my behavior management system and what star tickets are but I'm gonna put some vinyl on here I think something that says like star tickets or like maybe up here I'll put something because you can put like a little piece of paper up there but I am so excited for this I think this is so cute and the kids can just like drop their little star tickets in and then it actually has a lock for it I'm not sure where the lock goes but <laughs> there's a lock for it and so I can even like lock it up and make it really official and I just think this is so fun so I'm super excited about the glow up that my star ticket drawing thing is gonna have this year so Woo! So now I need to go get my shoes on, get my purse together, maybe grab a granola bar, and then Melissa is gonna be here like any minute. So next time I see you, I will be with Melissa and hopefully we'll be getting rugs. Wish us luck. I just want like a nice black and white rug. Like I don't feel like that should be that hard, right? Maybe famous last words. <laughs> Hey guys, so teacher vlogger fail. It is now Friday. I didn't really film at all on Wednesday other than that clip that you guys just saw. 
But Melissa and I did not find any rugs for our classroom. We did go to that event and it was supposed to start at 9 a.m. and we got there right at 9 and apparently they let people in at like 8.40. And so by the time that we got there at 9, which was like when it was supposed to start, all of the rugs were gone. So we were super bummed and we obviously weren't able to get one then. So we just left and did like some running around and stuff like that and then... Um, yeah, that was pretty much that was pretty much it. So I did meet up with my mom later that night and we went out for dinner and then she came over and helped me work on like cutting stuff out and uh, like hole punching stuff and stuff like that. So that was super helpful, but I just didn't vlog any of it. But all of that stuff did happen <laughs> and now it's Friday. So I have had a pretty productive morning. I've been working on my lesson plans for the first week of school and creating my slideshow. So I do want to take you guys through that a little bit. I don't want to show you every single thing just because I do know that some of my incoming fourth graders watch my channel and I don't want them to see like every single thing before the first day and have it not be as like fun or exciting, but I will show you a few things. Also, right now I'm wearing a cute little head wrap from my sweet friend Morgan, The Beach Classroom. She has a website where she sells these really fun wraps and this one's like a camo print and she always like ties them up all cute. I don't really know if mine looks as cute as hers always does, but that's fine. Um, I'll learn how to tie them better, but for now it works. I didn't really feel like doing anything with my hair, so I just threw it up. So one of the things that I've been working on is something I'm really excited about. I have a maker space in my classroom where I have like a bunch of recycled materials and I love that space and that's really fun for like indoor recess and like early finisher stuff. But I wanted to start doing some stem bins and I might have these available like a couple days a week in the morning and the kids will get to create some different things. So I was inspired to put them in these task card boxes or like these picture boxes from Shane from Fantastically Forth on Instagram. I love her stuff. She does some really awesome stories that she will put on her highlights on Instagram so you can go back and watch them and she's like super informational and I just feel like she's like such a good source of PD for me so I saw her do these like stem bins and these little task card organizers and I thought that was such a good idea so I picked up one of these this is from Michaels I think I got it on sale for like $12 ish and how I have it set up is each set of two across has the same materials in it. So like whatever this one has in it, this pink one, the other pink one also has in it. So I have these really cute like little, I'll just like go through and show you everything. These little things <laughs> that I just picked up from a garage sale yesterday. I got a huge bag of them that was enough to fill like those two bins and it was only 10 cents. So I definitely recommend checking out garage sales. And then I got these, these are called snowflakes. I got these off of Amazon. And I think they were actually a little bit pricey. Uh, I think for it to fill these two bins, I got, or I spent like maybe $15. And then I have Play-Doh and toothpicks in the next one. Just like these little mini Play-Doh things. And I'm hoping those will last. I don't know, we'll see. Then I have some of the Dollar Store Legos. These are just from uh, Dollar Tree. And I have two bags of them in each of these containers. So four bags total. Then I have pipe cleaners that are cut in half in the next one. That's the green. So in this like teal color, I have a package of mini Jenga from Dollar Tree as well. And this fits like almost perfectly. So it's one pack in each of the task card boxes. And then I have these little like rainbow popsicle sticks, which I got these from a dollar store, but it was like a local dollar store. And I might put some little Velcro dots at the end so the kids can like Velcro them together, but I haven't decided yet. And then the last two have these little, ah! <laughs> they have these little snowflakes from the Target dollar spot, which just looked like this. And I bought, I think three bags total. So each of these task card boxes has one and a half. And I'm debating maybe picking up one more bag just so it's a little bit more full. But yeah, that filled up my whole stem bin crate thingy right here. So I think today or maybe this weekend, I'm going to take some vinyl and I'm going to write 
stem bins on the front in vinyl and I think that will be really cute and my idea for this is maybe on like Tuesdays and Thursdays or like Wednesdays and Fridays or something like that I will have these available for my students in the morning they will be able to come over and grab a box that they would like to use and then take it back to their seat and probably there will be like two of these boxes at each table and we'll just establish some routines with them and some procedures like you have to clean up after yourself everything should go back the way that it came out um, you know be careful with the material stuff like that and then they will have the opportunity to create different things so these are actually from my best friend Melissa she uses stem bins in her classroom she saw something similar on Pinterest or Teachers Pay Teachers or something and decided to make her own. So she just has these little cards and she sent me the file so I was able to print them and laminate them and cut them out and all that. And then I put them just on binder rings. So it's just different things that the kids can flip through and try to make. So like in this one, there's an arch, there's a statue, a playground, ramp pyramid and an igloo and so in each of these rings they're all different things so it's fun because the kids can grab one of these and take them back to their team table and then get some ideas for some different things to make I also might have days where I say like build a um build something that you could drive so then they would have some options like it wouldn't have to be a car or I could say build something that you think would make our classroom better or build something that you'd like to invent or something like that so some days it might be a little bit more open-ended. I'm still kind of trying to figure out exactly how I want to do this. Also, I will not do this like the first week of school. This will probably be like maybe the second week of school that I introduce this and start doing it with the kids. But I'm really excited about this. I'm excited to just have it like all in one spot like this. I've always wanted to do stem bins and uh, yeah, this was a cool project to take on. So that has been keeping me busy. And then like I said, I've just been planning for the first week of school. And then I did get some packages that came in. Um, let me go grab them and I'll show you what I got in a second. So please hold. So a package just came yesterday from the company First Book, which I buy books off First Book every so often. If you're not familiar with it, you can make an account if you are a teacher. You have to just like put in your school information and I think you have to use your school email. And you can get like brand new books, like hardcover, nice books at super discounted prices because it is like just for teachers and it's so teachers can have these books in their classroom. So the idea is that like it's discounted because they know that it's going to classrooms, if that makes sense. So I have ordered out there before. You can get like brand new hardcover books for like $5, like it's insane. So I placed an order. <laughs> And I got a handful of different things. The first thing that I got is this book. I believe this is the second one in the series. I have the first one already, so I thought that would be a nice thing to add. And then I got Shouting at the Rain. And I noticed that I think this was bought off my Amazon wish list like right after I placed this order. So I'm thinking if I get like one more copy, I could do it as a book club book. This is the newest book by this author. She's the same one who wrote Fish in a Tree, and it's really, really good. I read that recently, and I really enjoyed it. Then, I haven't read this one yet, but the cover is so beautiful, and it just, uh, based on what I read from the summary, seemed like a really good book, so I'm excited to read this. It's called Other Words for Home, and this is written all in, like, poetry stanzas, which is awesome, so I'm really excited for that. And then I got some picture books. So I got this one, which I looked at at Barnes & Noble the other day, and I really wanted, so I'm really excited that I got it. It's called Where Are You From? Really cute book. I love hardcover picture books. Like, I just, I love them. <laughs> then I got this one, which I think will be awesome for teaching, like, deep breathing techniques with the kids. It's called My Magic Breath. This one I thought was interesting. I hadn't seen it before, but it's called Me First, Prefixes Lead the Way, which I teach prefixes and decoding words, and so I think that'll be awesome. And then the last one that I got is called So Tall Within, which, like, how amazing is this cover? Are you kidding me? Like, this looks so awesome. I actually have not read this one before, but I saw the cover, and I was like, okay, I need that. So really, really excited to read that. Jack is, like, getting right over by my camera, so if it falls down in a second, that is why. I also got a book from Elise. It says, I am a California college student studying to become a high school history and psychology teacher. Your videos are so inspiring to me. I hope these items bring joy to you and your students in Michigan from Elise. So Elise, thank you so much. She sent over this book, which is called, Sci it's from the science comic series and it's The Brain. And these are really cool. I just recently found these. Like, look at that. Isn't that neat? And they actually have a ton of books in the series. I ordered a few more of these off of first book. So I think I'm going to have like five. Jack. 
Jack just knocked over the camera as I predicted might happen. Life is hard when you live with a cat. Okay, sorry, Jack just knocked over the camera. <laughs> but I think I have five in this series now, so that's awesome. I might even be able to create my own bin for these, but I know there are other ones as well, so I might have to pick up some more of these. Can you see Jack? Oh my goodness, you guys, he's so funny. And then I got this, which these actually were sent to me. I hauled these in a video like quite a while ago, but this is the star, this is a roll of the star tickets that I use. And then I got this really cool little thing. I saw this, somebody had it on Instagram and I thought it was so neat. Like how cool is this, you guys? So this is gonna be awesome, just like sitting on my desk. I'm so excited. And then the kids can just like take, hold on, it's gonna rip the first one. How rude. So the kids can just like not do that hopefully, but like unroll it a little bit and then like take one. Isn't that so cute? I'm so excited. You guys, like it's just the little things. And actually, I think this was actually sent to me. I don't think that I bought this. I don't think. I didn't get a note with it though. So I don't remember if I bought this or if this was sent to me, but I'm pretty sure it was sent to me. Isn't it bad when you like don't even know what you order? But this one wasn't on Prime, so I like I think it probably took a while to get here, so I don't know. But anyways, if somebody bought this for me, thank you. But I'm not sure if that's the case. I might be thanking myself. I don't remember. <laughs> that's kind of bad, isn't it? And then the last thing, I can't find a note that goes with this, and part of me feels like I might have shown this in a video already. I really don't remember. This is the Better Than Paper, and it's the black. So originally, I was thinking I would use this on my door, but <laughs> Melissa and I stopped by the school the other day, and we were able to peek into the classrooms and see what they're looking like because my school's under construction this summer, so we're not allowed in. And you guys, they painted an entire wall, like a, a huge wall, blue like bright blue and I'm sure like there are gonna be people who are excited about that but like I'm not <laughs> like I don't want blue in my classroom like I thought it was bad enough last year with the blue cabinets and if I would have had like more time and energy I definitely would have covered those with contact paper but this is like an entire like royal blue wall and it's the wall that has the whiteboard on it so now I'm thinking I'm gonna cover that wall with black paper so I have one roll right now. I'm gonna get a few more rolls, either from Hobby Lobby or they have it on Amazon as well. So I do need a few more rolls of this probably because now not only am I gonna do my wood wall in the back of the room, like where my library is, but I'm gonna do a black wall in the front of the room to cover up the blue. Because I just, you guys, you know me. I'm picky, I'm particular. I don't care, like I can walk into a classroom and it can be like super like rainbow colors or mismatched or whatever and it doesn't bother me at all. I'm like, wow, the kids are learning, that's awesome. But like I have to spend a long time in my classroom and I like it to look a certain way. Like I spend like a lot of my time there once school starts. So anyways, I am going to be doing this. However, we were just told we probably will only have the two days to move in so we're hoping we can get in on friday and then we'll have saturday sunday and then open houses on monday and so <laughs> it is going to be a crazy couple of days i actually texted a few of my friends last night who are not teachers and i was like hey if you guys aren't busy this weekend like would love to buy you coffee if you like help me for like ever really like i probably won't leave <laughs> i joked with my principal yesterday because i had a meeting i was like yeah i probably will do like the 48 hour challenge in my classroom once I can get in, like I have already packed a bag, like I'm ready. I probably will just not leave my classroom what I, once I can get in because it's gonna be insane, you guys. Like they are gonna be bringing in all of our boxes and furniture and stuff like when we get in. And so like they might not even bring in our furniture until Saturday, I guess, which then I'm like, who's gonna bring it in because nobody's gonna work on a Saturday other than teachers, you know what I mean? And like, I don't even know where the furniture is. I can't go get it. <laughs> So I don't know, but I'll at least be able to take in the stuff from my storage unit and the stuff from my house, which is a lot of stuff. So I'm trying to just pray about it and like be calm, but like if you guys wanna pray for me too, I would really appreciate it. I've gotten a ton of questions about if I am going to film my setup this year and I do plan on it. However, it will probably be a lot of just like music playing and me running around. I don't know how often I'll be able to stop and talk and like explain what I'm doing this year just because you guys, I'm gonna be in like go mode like I'm gonna be moving and moving and moving and I do want to document it and I do want to be able to see it because I've loved this summer watching everybody set up videos and I think they're so fun but just understand that my setup experience this year is going to be very different than it was last year like last year I had all summer and this year I have like maybe two days it's crazy and I'm just like hugging this better than paper because I'm so scared
but it's gonna be fine god is good all the time like life is good i'm gonna have like a new classroom and i don't know if i told you guys about this already but i get my own study room this year whereas last year i shared that back study room with my with like the other fourth grade teacher in my building so this year i do get my own which is nice so that's good however i also realized sorry guys i'm just like chatting but hopefully you don't mind um i realized that i only have outlets on one wall in my room like that's it i only have outlets on the front wall that has the whiteboard on it and there are no outlets on any other of the three walls and it is unconfirmed if i have any outlets in my study room so like I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to plug in my fridge, which I know is like not the biggest concern in the world, but I'm trying to figure it out and I'm struggling because I'm just going to have to like run extension cords, I guess. Like I don't really know what else to do because last year I had ex or I had plugs or outlets or whatever, like on every single wall everywhere. It wasn't an issue. So I don't know, I'm trying to figure that out still, but Let's go upstairs. Let me show you what's going on on my laptop and clean up this mess and then figure out what we're doing today. Woo! Also, my camera battery's flashing, so better replace it. Hey there, guys. So, change of plans and change of shirt. I felt like this one kind of went better with what I was wearing. Um, let me sit down for just a moment. So, my mom actually just texted me that she got out of work early. So, I think I'm going to go meet up with her. I will still show you guys stuff on my computer, but I will do that when I get back later tonight or possibly tomorrow and then I'll just combine vlog footage so I'm gonna go meet up with my mom I need to run a couple of errands there are just a couple like little things that I'm looking for for classroom stuff so I need to get a couple things from Dollar Tree and then a couple things from Michaels so that's what's on the agenda and probably gonna get lunch with my mom which is fun and then I'll probably come back and work on classroom stuff so Let's go. Hello friends. So it is Sunday now. Long time no talk. And I feel like this vlog has been kind of all over the place. And also my hair is like very big right now. So please excuse that. Um, but on Friday when I last saw you guys, my mom was coming over, I think, or I was meeting up with my mom. And we ended up meeting up with my best friend Melissa and her mom. And we went and saw Lion King and then just like hung out and whatnot. And so by the time I got back, I wanted to just like hang out with Chris. And I still did work on school stuff, but like I worked on it like while I was hanging out with my husband. And so anyways, I realized I never showed you guys the PowerPoint that I said that I would. So I do want to show you guys just like a glimpse of my first day PowerPoint. But like I said, I don't want to show every single thing just because I want it to be a surprise for my students. And I don't want any of them to watch this and be like, I don't know, knowing what's coming next. So maybe I will do a video like after the first day. Like if I do a vlog that week or something, I can show you it after. And then maybe it would be helpful for the next year or just like future ideas. I don't know But I will show you guys a little Snippet of what I am doing and then also I will kind of recommend a couple things that I think would be helpful to do so I have it right up here. Um, I did get some questions on my last like plan with me video of people who are like, hey, how did you get that template in Google Slides? I create all my slides on PowerPoint first and then I insert them into Google Slides. And the reason why I do that is because I think PowerPoint is easier to manipulate and it's easier to kind of play around with and decorate and make it like visually appealing, which I like. And so anyways, I just copy and paste the whole slide and put it in as like a picture into Google Slides. Slides. So that's kind of how I get away with it. So sorry, that's not like super helpful, but yeah, I just make it myself. So here is what my kids will be doing right away. So um, I just have a slide that will be on the board for them when they first come in. So that way they know exactly what to do. And there's uh, not a ton of anxiety around what they're supposed to be doing. They'll have an idea of what to do first, next, last. I would recommend having something for the kids to work on right when they come in. So my kids will be working on a word search. And then the other recommendation I want to give to you. So I have a little meet your teacher slide, but um, this is something that I think is really important for the first day. And it's just explaining those need to know right away so the kids don't have that anxiety around like what do I do when I need to go to the bathroom or get a drink what do I do when I need to get the teacher's attention to ask a question and then how is the teacher going to get my attention when we're coming back together so these are the need to knows I recommend explaining these right away just because you might have some kids who come in and are a little bit concerned about one of these things and every teacher does things a little bit differently so yeah I'll have that 
And then also um, I will tell my kids the most important things. These are things that I have posted in my room. They're just four statements that are the most important things that I want my kids to know. Um, you know, I want them to learn long division and I want them to learn about prefixes and suffixes, but the most important thing to me is that they know these four things by the time they walk out of fourth grade. So um, I do have, like I said, like little mini posters posted in my room that have these on them. And I recently got a request to put them on TPT. So I might try to do that soon, but as of right now, they are not on there. And then um, I'm not going to go through very many other ones. Let me just look around and see if there's anything else I want to show you guys. Um, I'll just show you. So you, if you saw my plan with me video, you know I just have different colors are um, different days. So I have Tuesday and then I have my Wednesday planned so far and I'm working on the rest of the week as well. So again, sorry I can't show you guys everything, but hopefully that's like a little fun snippet into what I'm doing and hopefully you guys understand why I don't want to show all of it. I just want it to be a surprise for my students. So sorry, it's kind of blurry. Um, but hopefully I can do a vlog on the first week of school and then show you guys what we're doing. I am hoping to vlog this year as a classroom teacher or as a fourth grade teacher in my classroom. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm saying. <laughs> But I do, as of right now, want to try to do weekly vlogs. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to film every single day, but I'm hoping at least I can get like, you know, a few clips a week or like, you know, or get clips from a few days a week or something like that and then put them all together and maybe post them on the weekends. That is my hope as of right now, but I know I'm gonna have to give myself a little bit of grace because being a teacher is insane. It's always so busy, but I know that it will be a lot better this year as a second year teacher, kind of having my footing and understanding the curriculum at least than it was last year as a first year teacher. So I'm hoping I won't be spending as much time at home on lesson planning and like creating center work and stuff like that. So I will have hopefully some more time to edit, but that is the plan as of right now. And then sporadically, I do want to do sit down videos like my trauma video or like my behavior management video. I want to do just sit down videos explaining like one concept or one thing that I get questions about a lot. So that is the plan as of right now, but we'll just wait and see what happens this year. But I think that this vlog is probably plenty long now. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave me a comment below and let me know how you guys are doing, what you guys are up to. If you guys are back in school yet, let me know. If you guys have a couple more weeks of summer, let me know how you're spending it. I go back to having trainings this upcoming week. So um, I'm kind of looking forward to that. But at the same time, it's, it's kind of like this weird, bittersweet time because I really want to be in my classroom and my school is still under construction. And, and it's just been kind of stressful but it'll all work out everything always does so anyways remember that you guys are incredibly beautiful and loved thank you guys so much for watching if you are not already please make sure to subscribe and follow me on instagram at elementary in the mitten and i will see you guys next time bye guys